What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about sodium. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still getting over this damn flu. Sodium, I feel, is one of the most misunderstood micronutrients, minerals, electrolytes that there is. And I'm going to explain to you guys why right now. For the longest time, old school dieters, dietitians, gurus, and stuff would have you cut your salt. Or even just healthcare professionals will have you cut your salt like a doctor. Cut the salt, cut the salt, cut the salt. And that will reduce water retention. Now, here's the problem. It's an essential electrolyte. It means that it's responsible for the functions of your body. So if you cut that salt, not only is your body going to retain water, but it's not going to work properly muscle-wise. In, in case you guys didn't know, your heart is a muscle. When they give you the lethal injection, they do that with potassium chloride potassium level skyrocket which causes the heart to cramp which kills you now the same exact phenomenon can happen if you deplete your sodium too much and your potassium is too high naturally bodybuilders in competition all the time start cramping it's usually because they have tons of potassium from eating sweet potatoes and shit and they cut their sodium down to nothing so their body flushes the sodium out now you have a recipe for disaster high potassium levels low sodium levels or next to nil sodium levels in your feet cramp then your calves cramp, then your quads cramp, then your lower abdomen cramps. And if you see where this trend is going, if you get the cramp towards your chest, your heart will cramp too and you will die. It has happened due to diuretic use, which decreases sodium. It releases all the sodium. So what's the right answer with sodium in your diet? You need sodium and you need plenty of sodium. If you're drinking enough water, then you can have all the sodium you want. I don't even count sodium. I probably get 7,000 milligrams a day. And I don't have water retention problems. Why? Because I drink a gallon and a half of water a day and it flushes it out. One of them, I can't remember which one, so I'm not going to go too in-depth to it because I'm going to get those science guys jumping all on my back, but water is either positively or negatively charged and sodium is the opposite charge, which means as the water goes through your body and flushes out, it pulls the sodium with it and that's how it excretes the sodium with the water. So the problem is, is most people don't drink enough water and if they have a high salt content, their body retains that water from the salt retaining inside the body because it doesn't want to get it won't flush it out it's not enough so forever and ever doctors have been telling people cut back on your sodium to drop your blood pressure well lo and behold they finally find out what bodybuilders have figured out a long time ago is a low sodium level over a long period of time will damage your heart now they're finding out that oh shit we've been damaging people's hearts by telling them not to have the sodium which is throwing their potassium levels through the roof it's essentially throwing their electrolyte balance off. Now what do we do? Shit, eat the sodium. So all the new studies are, eat the sodium, eat the sodium, put the sodium back in your diet, but flush it out with water. Drink more water. Doctors have more water, more water, more water. Because they finally figured out that you need sodium. So those of you guys, I mean, sodium restriction does come into play, don't get me wrong, for competition and certain things. But if you're restricting your sodium for 12 weeks, 20 weeks, or constantly all the time, you are screwing yourself up. You may not know it right now, but you are causing damage and sooner or later, it will catch up to you, I promise. So don't be scared of sodium. Make sure you get enough sodium in your diet, which is salt, okay? You don't have to increase your sodium levels by eating more food. You can put soy sauce on your food as a great um, source of sodium. Sea salt, table salt, <clears throat> excuse me, anything like that to raise your sodium levels because sodium is salt. So especially if you're training hard, you're sweating a lot, and you're processing all that food, you're losing too much sodium. You're losing too much salt. Put it back in your diet, flush it out with the water, and then you won't have any issues as far as water retention, heart issues, muscle cramps, etc. BioSTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below in the comment section. Blog is www.biosttraining.com. Eat your salt, keep your sodium high, drink your water, and we're out.